We asked what you wanted to see in a video and you guys responded. So today, it's all about the blaze of ball. Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host as always, Captain Ron. Got a little different scenery going on. So, like I said, we have asked you all, what do you want to see in a video? What can we cover that you want to know about? And we get constant questions about one thing, the blazer ball. Dude, great videos. I'm curious, can you use the blazer ball to start a fireplace? First of all, it's called the blazer ball, not a blazer ball. That's from Jim Barbecue. That video made me hungry. I saw you use that blazer ball thing. Will it work with briquettes? Bet OS. Yes, we're going to cover that. I have an art of flame. Do you think I could use a blazer ball to light my art of flame? See Mac Cooks. By the way, you're very handsome. Thanks, Greg. We're gonna answer that too. Hi, Ron. I love the videos and always see you use that cage thingy to light the charcoal. What the heck is that thing? Russ W. And lastly, hey, Captain Ron, can you use a blazer ball to start a charcoal chimney from always smoking? Yep, you sure can. We're gonna cover all of that and more today. We're gonna show you how to use the blazer ball, why you use the blazer ball, and what it's good for. So stay tuned and let's go ahead and get to the first one. So the first thing we want to talk about is what is a blazer ball? To put it simply, what it is, it's a small little metal cage that you put your starters in, you close it up, you drop it in and you light it. It's going to allow the air to be able to get to your fire without smothering it. So you can pour charcoal on top, you can put wood on top, and it's still going to have the oxygen to breathe, to burn and get your fire started efficiently. Now, I think enough chit chatting, let's go over to the first grill, kick some tires and light some fires. All right, Russ W, you're up first here with your question. Can you use that cagey thing, cage thingy to light the charcoal? Yes, absolutely. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is in a big green egg. Now, there's two different ways that I like to do it, and I'd light them differently for different purposes. If I'm going low and slow, this is the way I do it. I have zero charcoal in here right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the blazer ball with the starters in it right in the bottom. I'm gonna light it, and then pour my charcoal on top. Let me show you. Three easy steps to get your Fogo started. Place your Fogo starters inside the blazer ball. Line up the two halves with the V-shaped markings. Rotate the two sides clockwise until they lock into position. Light the Fogo starters and place your favorite Fogo charcoal on top. And you can see, if I move this aside, it's still burning down here, right? Because, because of the cage, it allows that air to still get to the fire and be able to burn even with charcoal on top of it. So this is great for low and slow because the air is getting directly to it in your big green egg. Now that was low and slow. Here, this is how I do it for hot and fast. Okay, I'm gonna leave the blazer ball with the starters right on top of all the coals. Light it like this. Then maybe I might put a couple pieces over it like this here, just to help get it started. So by doing it this way, by putting it on top of the coals, what I'm doing is I'm creating more of a direct uh, grilling, hotter cooking type of deal because I want the fire right on top. It's gonna heat up the convector. It's gonna heat up the direct flames right to the food. So this is a great way to do it also. So you have two ways to do it in a big green egg, under the coals or on top of the coals. Either way, works out great. Next up, always smoking. Hey, Captain Ron, can you use a blazer ball to start a charcoal chimney? Absolutely. Let's head out to the Weber and I'll show you how to do it. All right, I actually realized this is also answering another question from Beto S. It says, can we use it with briquettes? So we're gonna kill two birds, one stone. I've got a charcoal chimney here full of our briquettes. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna put two Fogo starters in here. We're gonna close her up, same way we always do. And we're simply gonna place it on the grate underneath the charcoal chimney, okay? Why do you say? Well, because you might have ash. There might be a lot of reasons why it could be clogged up, blocked up. A lot of people use newspaper. It doesn't work all the time. This is a great way to do it. You have to do it once and it's gonna light this, this charcoal absolutely beautifully. So let me grab my torch and show you what I mean. All right, now for next one, don't have a charcoal chimney? That's all right. Get your blazer ball lit and just pour your charcoal right on top. So I wanna point something out to you, okay? See these briquettes? Yes, they're gray, you know why? I've used them once before. Our briquettes can be used again. All we did was shut down the Weber, closed all events, and let it go out on its own. You can use this stuff again, too. Just a little perk in our video. All right, so next up, I have an art to flame. So do I. Do you think I could use a blazer ball to light my art to flame from C-Mac Cooks? By the way, you're very handsome. Well. <laughs> Thanks, you. Anyway, yes, yeah, so you're gonna use it the same way, all right? Now this grill can use charcoal, it can use wood. You're gonna burn a different, remember different fuels. It doesn't matter. It's gonna work the same exact way. Are you seeing a theme here? The blazer ball works the same way no matter what you're lighting, really. You're gonna do the same thing. Put two starters in here, close it up, and set it right in the center of your grill. Plain and simple. But we're gonna use wood for this one. All right, so what I like to do when I'm starting my wood fire like this, get some small pieces of wood, Start them just like this. Now, instead of a pyramid, I like to do this, okay? I like to build a little box like that. One more set here. We're just gonna let that go for a couple minutes and all of a sudden we're gonna have a beautiful blazing fire. You'll see. 
As you can see, by putting the blazer ball underneath there, it's leaving plenty of room for oxygen to get to the starters. And look at that beautiful fire build. Have you ever seen a fire go more easily than that? I don't think I have. You know, this is for the art to flame, but this is the same exact way you would light your fireplace. Do the same exact thing. And that is three minutes. We built that fire in three minutes and it's burning beautifully. If there's an easier way to light a fire, tell me about it, because I would like to know, because that's about as easy as I've ever seen. All right, guys, hey, guess what? If you weren't interested already, you should be interested now because we're gonna do a giveaway. Yep, that's right, a giveaway. We're gonna give away a blazer ball and a box of Fogo starters to one lucky winner. You have to be subscribed to our channel and there is a link down below in the description on how to enter. There's multiple ways within that link, so hit them all because the more times you enter, the more chances you have to win. Now, we answered Craig's question last. Let's go to Jim BBQ. Dude, great videos. I'm curious, can you use the blazer ball to start a fireplace? Absolutely, Jim. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I start my Santa Maria grill. It's a combination of charcoal and wood, but it'll work the same way in a fireplace. So I think you'll get the idea. Let's go ahead and get started. The fire box is here. You start your fire here. So we're gonna do the same exact thing we've been doing for all the other grills. I've shown you briquettes. I've shown you black bag charcoal. Now we're gonna use some yellow bag, gold bag, which is our super premium. And not only that, we're gonna use some firewood as well. So we put the starters in there, closed her up. I'm gonna set it underneath this box. This box here on Santa Maria is where you light your fire. All the coals will burn and drip down. You pull them over here and you have your cooking area. This is gonna be the same exact way it would work as a fireplace. Pretend your hearth is here and the logs are sitting on here and this is your space underneath, all right? So let me get it loaded up with some super premium and then add some wood. I'll show you how to do it. So we got that. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of wood right on top, just like that. Because when they burn it like this, that combination of charcoal and wood, to me, gives an absolutely great flavor. Now we're just gonna do the same thing. If you want, you can pull it out, light it out here. Also, get yourself a grill torch. I love this thing. I use it every time I light my grill. So once it's burning, simply push it up underneath there. It's gonna get your fire going beautifully. Let's give it a couple minutes and you'll see what I mean. All right, that's pretty cool. Nine minutes in, we got ourselves a nice fire burning. So you can see it works very well in multiple different uses, multiple applications. Blaze a ball, to me, is the best way to start a fire. That combined with our Fogo fire starters, it's, it's a match made in heaven. This is our whole video. This was the blaze a ball. If you have any more further questions about it, feel free to reach out to me anytime. So remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on the Fogo Life. Captain Ron, out.